Thomson Park. I'm, I'm Paul Baker, I'm Chair of Thorn Home Residents Association. I'm Steve Thompson, I'm a local resident in Ashbrook and I live in Thornhill Park. I'm Tracy Thompson, Steve's wife, and I also live in Thornhill Park. It was set up in a, in a slightly curious way because uh, there was a concern that uh, a family not very long, not very far away, that the children were perhaps in a bit of neglect. So people just sort of got together to see if they could help out. And from that, it developed into a, a couple of meetings. It started off really, I suppose, as sort of expressing concerns about issues. But we've tried to become a bit more proactive and a bit more positive uh, about trying to look after the area. But I think the other side is, is just trying to, you know, to do something positive. Of the meeting since we moved in Ashbrook, I've sort of noticed not a shift in focus, but maybe it's an expansion of focus of the group, moving from what is a collective, protective sort of society. Let's try and keep the streets clean. Let's try and keep the houses the way they should be. Let's protect the collective in the more, a bit more outgoing and proactive. Okay, let's see what's happening in the local community. How can we change things around? Do the burn park, do the clean up at the Ivy, yes. all those kind of things. So a little bit back as well. So it's, it's almost like an expansion and a more maturing of scope for me. I initially joined sort of the residents association really with sort of my own agenda. This is what I need to achieve, this is what I want to do for my house, this is what I want for the street. But then after you've been there a few times, you move into with a slightly different mode of operation in that. You're thinking, well, am I prepared to sort of stand by and let you know the world fall to rack and ruin around me, or am I going to be a voice in the wilderness trying to change things, with maybe it's a group of a, a few other individuals who feel the same. So let's join the collective, and let's try and make a bit of a difference. And it might just be some planting some flowers somewhere, cleaning up a, a park, you know, once a month or something like that. And we get inputs from all, you know, we, we had people from the tall ships that come along and talk. We had that guy from the, the co-op the the about, final, about estate services. management, yeah. you know, to come along. And, and again, I think it was useful when Andrew Browning came from the planning department, mm -hmm. because people yes. say, oh, it is to plan, it's, it's, you know, and you don't realise how tightly restricted they are. Yeah. My hopes are just that sort of the, the overall community has some of the sort of thoughts and aspirations that I've seen um, present in the Residents Association in that, do you care about where you live? You know, why are you dropping litter? You know, pick things up, you know, uh, help somebody next door. You know, care about the, the way in which the place looks. You know, take a bit of pride in your, in your overall yeah. area. When you're doing stuff in the community, I think it inspires other, other, yeah. other yeah. people to do stuff.